Yatsufusa's achievement. It was autumn, the season of harvest. That year, Yoshizane Satami's territory had a great crop yield, but in contrast, Kagetsura Anzai's territory had no crops at all. The desperate Anzai family sent a messenger, an elder, to ask for 5,000 bales of rice from the Satami family, saying that it was a warrior's mercy. When Yoshizane Satami became the lord of Tekida Castle, he had a son of Tekiyoshi Kanamari, who had distinguished himself, named Tekinori Kanamari, who knelt before Yoshizane and said, My father, who died two years ago, used to say as if it was his habit. Kagetsura Anzai is a great villain. He has no truth or kindness in his heart, so don't let your guard down. Even if Anzai says something, never deal with him. But this time it was different. After all, Anzai's territory was in trouble because of the poor rice harvest. But Anzai is not a good person. I'm worried that he's still alive, let alone helping him with rice is like lending a sword to a thief, and it's very dangerous. This is our chance to attack Anzai. We should defeat the villain and put the whole of Awa in your hands. I recommend that. As expected, Takenori's words were brave, but Yoshizane Satami frowned and was displeased when he heard them. Shut up. Even if the enemy is in trouble with food shortage, it is cowardly to take advantage of it. Besides, Anzai may have looked like a bad person to your dead father, but he hasn't done anything bad to our Satami family yet. It's not right to take him down now. Send him 5,000 bales of rice right away. Yoshizen, who was compassionate, ordered this. Without delay, the Satami family's warehouse was opened and 5,000 bales of rice were delivered to Kagetsura, Anzai. But the next year, something terrible happened. This time, it was the opposite of the previous year. The neighboring Anzai territory had a rare rice harvest in recent years. But for some reason, the Satami territory had a poor harvest that did not produce a single grain of rice. The Satami family's warehouse was empty after lending 5,000 bales of rice last year. Even if the peasants came crying, there was nothing to share with them. The only thing that bothered them was the neighboring Anzai territory's rich harvest. They waited for him to lend them a hand, since they had helped him last year, but there was no word from him. Yashizane had no choice but to send Takenori Kanamari as a messenger to urge him to return the borrowed rice. Yashizen Satami loved Takenori Kanamari very much. He wanted to promote him heavily because of his father's achievements, and even thought of making him his son-in-law by marrying him to Princess Fuse. But he was still too young. He must have wanted to give him an important role and let everyone know how he worked. Takenori Kanamari, who received his lord's name, rode his horse and took eight vassals with spears and boldly entered Anzai's castle. Takenori first met with the elder, Tapi Kabuto, and explained the poor harvest in the Satami territory and asked him to return the borrowed rice. But when Tapi told Kagetsura, Anzai, he refused to return the rice, and instead captured the messenger, Takenori, and started preparing for battle. And he led 3,000 soldiers to attack Tekida Castle. Before the dead Takenori Kanamari returned, the Satami family was surprised to be surrounded by the castle. Don't give the castle to the ungrateful Anzai. This is the time to defeat the villain. The Satami family said so, and fought with all their might. But it was a surprise attack and there was no food in the castle. No matter how brave they were, they couldn't fight without eating or drinking. By the seventh day, they all became thin and emaciated. The lord, Yashizane Satami, was in agony and wanted to help his retainers, but he couldn't find a way to do it. What should I do? 
If I defend, I'll starve, and if I attack, I'll lose. It's a tough situation. He pondered and pondered as he walked in the back garden of the main castle. Then, out of nowhere, his beloved dog, Yatsufusa, came flying and snorted and snuggled up to him. He looked at him and saw that he was completely emaciated. His eyes were sunken, and his fur was very bad. He seemed to have no energy, which must have been a sign of exhaustion. You're hungry, Yatsufusa. Everyone in the castle is the same as you, not eating anything for seven days. But they are all fighting well for me. Woof, woof. You're a dog. You must want some food. But there's nothing in the castle. I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do. But I've heard that dogs never forget their gratitude. If you feel that you owe something to the people of this castle, why don't you try to do something for them? Sneak into the enemy camp and kill that hateful Kegature Anzai. Bite him to death. If you bring back the head of the enemy commander, it will be the best achievement in this battle. Yashizane said that half to the dog and half to himself. But Yatsufusa nodded silently as if to agree. He looked like he understood human words, even though he was a dog. What should I give you as a reward if you come back with Kegature Anzai's head, Yatsufusa, first? I'll give you white rice with lots of delicious fish. How about that? But Yatsufusa shook his head sideways. That's interesting. How about I make you an official and give you some land? What? You don't like that either. Then how about I marry you to your favorite Princess Fuse? How about that? You won't be dissatisfied with that. He must have said no. Yashizen said such a joke, thinking that he was a dog. But Yatsufusa nodded big and wagged his tail happily. He stared at his master without blinking. But soon he straightened his posture and bowed, and then ran around the fence. Yashizen shivered involuntarily. I said something stupid. Even as a joke and I was worried about it. Well, well, Yashizane Satami has fallen. No matter what, it's ridiculous to ask a dog to bring back the head of the enemy commander. The cold smile that crossed his face must have been mocking him. Yashizane Satami, who knew that the end was near, called his retainers together, waiting for the night to fall. Well, everyone, thank you for working hard in this difficult battle without food. I have decided to cut out of the castle with you all when the moon sets tonight. Let's die honorably. Come on, let's have a farewell drink. Hoa. The sake was passed around quietly under the moonlight. It was the last drink. It was a water cup surrounded by his wife, Isariko, Princess Fuse, and his sons, Juro and Saburo, with Yoshizane Satami their lord, in the center. Thinking that this was the farewell of this world, everyone's chest was filled with emotion. Soon the moon sank behind the mountains of Awa, which looked like they were asleep. There was no end to the farewell, but Yashizane thought that he should not die late and ordered to march out. The retainers were all warriors. They were all determined to work hard and die beautifully. At that time, from the garden in front of the inner room, a sudden woof of a dog was heard. The voice came closer and closer to the outside of the shoji, and there it was panting heavily. What? Yatsufusa is back. He made a strange cry, but what happened to him? Yashizin said that and stood up, and four or five attendants held up a light and opened the shoji. But everyone gasped and stood still. There was a bloody head on the board of the for example. Yatsufusa put his front paw on the stepping stone and lowered his ears, watching the head intently. But his eyes were beautiful like jewels. Yashizin stared at the head on the board. Who is this? Wash this head and see. It might be Kegichur or Anzai's head. Understood. Sujikura Kisanosuke who answered, 
quickly drew well water and washed it. It was indeed Kagetsura's head. Well done, Yatsufusa. You didn't forget what I said as a joke. And you sneaked into the enemy camp and brought back Kagetsura Anzai's head, even though you were a beast. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Yashazane shed tears involuntarily. At that moment, a soldier who was watching from the tower rushed in. Something strange has happened. The enemy army seems to be retreating in a hurry. A cheer rose up in the room. Yashazane ordered to open the castle gate quickly. The brave Satami soldiers stabbed Kagetsura and Zai's head on the tip of their long spears and waved it as they rushed into the enemy camp. It was a great victory. The dog, Yatsufusa, saved them from a dire situation. Thus, Yashazane Satami was able to take over Kagetsura and Zai's territory as well. Luck follows luck for the Satami family. Today's episode comes to a close with this. It's great that the Satami clan was saved by the valiant efforts of Hachifusa. But now, Yashazane has made a significant promise involving Hachifus. Will the Satami clan's princess Fuse really marry the dog Hachifusa? Stay tuned for more of this story in a future video. On this channel I share Japanese stories with you. To ensure you don't miss any updates about Japanese stories, hit the subscribe button and drop a comment saying, I've subscribed. And don't forget to hit the like button too. Thanks for watching this video. The adventure is just beginning.